Hello guys, I was watching the movie Avatar, right here, and I decided to make a video and show you something that I found. It's very cool. Um, so basically, this is my Samsung LN46 C650, something like that, uh, and I found something very cool about it. It's that you can control your PS3 or Sony systems or whatever that are connected through a USB, um, HDMI to your to your TV you can control them with your TV remote how do we do that? well it's something called um, AnyNet Plus I'm just gonna show you how to do it basically you press let me see if I can get focus on this right now I got two. Okay, you press the menu button right here, and that's gonna take you to the menu on the TV. I would like to go down to where it says uh, AnyNet HDMI CEC. You click on that, and then you're you're gonna have AnyNet Plus the menu. You can, you can view the TV, you can view the device list, uh, the menu on the Blu-ray disc, Blu-ray disc info, and setup. If you haven't set up uh, the internet yet, if you don't know if your TV has it, just Google it or search on your menu manual. So set it up, and basically you would you want to have it on because it activates any any net plus. Um, and it says devices can be controlled by TV remote. Basically, this is the TV remote, and I'm just gonna show you a few review on how to do it. Um, so you wanna select on on any net plus auto turn off. That's gonna allow you to turn off your uh, any HDMI compatible device such as Blu-rays or PS3 um, devices or and so on. There are many there are many devices that are compatible with uh, any net. So just um, search on Google or on your manual like I said already. So okay, so press yes. Yes you want to activate it. So when you turn off the the TV with your control, uh, the system, the whole system that you got turns off as well. So like yes. Now you're ready. Now um, you can go back same thing so this is my TV remote you can see Samsung it's Samsung and that's uh, my Blu-ray Sony and that's what I'm gonna be using right now that that is the movie Avatar right here and that's uh, the Sony Blu-ray disc um, control so I'm not gonna be using this I'm just gonna put it right there and I'm gonna get my TV remote which basically um, it's supposed to you know control everything on, on the blu-ray so I'm gonna press play my Samsung remote and as you can see it's playing the video it's playing in a, I'm gonna play place a I'm gonna press pause it pauses you can skip, but the problem is that you cannot uh, skip like the whole chapter in this uh, in this controller, which basically sucks. And you can go to tools and go to menu. That's gonna give you the BD menu, of course, and the info. Here you can pause it, whatever. Uh, that's the Blu-ray itself is not the disc it's the blurry itself on menu if you go back you can go back you have to exit it you exit and then you can again press menu if you I mean, menu uh, tools sorry sorry about that you press tools it's right here tools and then you can go and be the menu be the menu it's basically the home of your um, Blu-ray 
player. I'm using a Sony Blu-ray player as I already said it. Uh, if you want me to do a review, it's very laggy, but it's uh, very very helpful. It's it was on sale, I think for like seventy bucks or something, which basically I wanted you know to get a Blu-ray that it wasn't too costly because I didn't want to pay a lot just for a Blu-ray. And also the the movies are very inexpensive. You know some of them are five bucks, uh, seven bucks, and they're pretty convenient. And the sound and the and the pi picture quality is amazing. So okay, that's the avatar that I was playing. As you can see the avatar disc that I was playing. So yeah, that was that was a video to show you how to install or how to you know program your any net so now you're gonna see the any net um, device info here and everything else also what you can do uh, and I'm gonna show you is turn off the, the whole system with your with your TV control so you're gonna go back to everything and you're gonna press a power off so let's see what happens Trip pressed it already the TV goes off and uh, just waiting for it. yeah need one off as well so everything goes off if you have a, a surround sound it it's gonna go off as well if it's uh, any net compatible now we're gonna turn it on the TV I'm just gonna wait a few minutes a minute seconds and I'm just gonna turn it on again gonna turn on on the on the broadcast oh no the blu-ray okay so now that it's turned on I'm gonna go to tools this is a very cool thing because even if you if, even if you don't find your other uh, remote you can still use the, the TV remote so I'm gonna go to tools as you can see up there is the any net right here is the any net um, menu you can press that I'm going OK, enter. You go to the device list, which basically is the Blu ray uh, disc right there. You can refresh it if you have another system plugged in, enter to turn it on and watch movies or return. So I don't know, I would like to return to see what's, what's next. OK, and set up. Uh, if you want to change any of the options you already made, you can do that. Um, but in this case, I'm just gonna show you how I turn on my Blu-ray disc player. So I'm just press that and connecting to any net plus device, and automatically it turns on. And it starts processing. That's what happens. It gets like a little notif notification, like it's not connected. But in reality, it is because I don't know. It's something. It's like a bug or something. Um, you're gonna press. Okay, this is a Samsung remote. Okay, this is my Samsung remote. You're gonna press OK, and just go back, and you are ready to interact with the with the any device that you have plugged in really I've seen this any net on uh, on different devices such as the PS3 and you know um, surround sounds and everything else you know I mean technology is just getting better